Hi everyone, welcome to Tuesday's Maths lesson. We are back with a Year 5 learning objective today, reflect a shape using coordinates. Right, let's see the first thing that we need to look at. Right, it says, how could we reflect this shape over the y axis? So let's just remind ourselves of the x and y axes. You've got the x axis which look, runs along the bottom here, and the y axis which goes up the top here. So along the bottom, x up the stairs, y, if you think about the alphabet, x comes before y, so your x axis is at the bottom. And the, these are the coordinates you would give first, and then your y axis going up the coordinates that you give second. So we need to reflect this shape over the y axis, axis so over this line here into this quadrant here. Right, I'm going to show you how I would do that. So starting at the bottom, I'll go along the x axis, minus one, up the y axis to two. So I would do exactly the same on the other side, on into the quadrant that I want to reflect my shape into. So I go along the bottom, lost my mouse, there it is, along the bottom to one, up to two, and plot it. And do exactly the same until I've filled or covered the whole shape. So minus one, three, again along the bottom, one, three, and plot it minus three, three, so again, three, three, and then finally, minus three, two, and exactly the same, go along my x-axis to three, up to two, and then join it together. I'm gonna to show you another example now, so exactly the same thing, we need to reflect this shape over our y-axis into this quadrant here, so let's, let's do exactly the same, minus one, two, so I would go and do the opposite on the other side, one, two, and plot it. Minus one, five, I would do exactly the same, one, five. Along my x-axis, minus three, three. Go along my x-axis, three, three, and then finally, three, two, oh, sorry, minus three, two, I would go along three, two, plot it and join them together. Right, it's your turn now. So in a second, you're going to pause the video and you can have a go at the example on the question sheet. So it's this one here, but like I say, it's already on the question sheet for you. So you need to reflect this shape over your y axis. And then once you've drawn, once you've done that, have a, grow, have a go at drawing some shapes of your own and reflecting them across the axes into the other quadrant. Okay, pause the video now and have fun with that. Right, the next thing that we're going to do is have a look at the actual coordinates. So it says, what are the coordinates of shape A? So let's have a look. This is shape A. And then it says, what are the coordinates of the reflected shape? shape B. This is shape B. So let's start with shape A first. So we need to plot these coordinates. Right, so we're going to start here and we go along our x axis first. So our first coordinate would be 1, 3. And can you see how we write um, coordinates in brackets? So you've got a bracket, your number, and then a comma, your other coordinate, your other number, and then you close your bracket. So one, three, right, so the next one is going to be one, eight. Go along here, so if we look down, it's along our x-axis, three, eight, and then finally, three, three. So those are the coordinates of shape A. Let's have a look at the coordinates of shape B then. So again, find my mouse, we start at the bottom, we go along our x-axis, so um, you can see we've got to seven, so we go up seven, three. So the first coordinate of shape B is seven, three. Again, back down um, to our X axis, seven, eight. So our second coordinate is seven, eight. And we can go along now, look, nine, eight. So our next coordinate is nine, eight. And then our final coordinate is nine on your X axis, and three on your on your y axis. Okay, so when you get onto those independent practice questions, remember that this is what it's asking you to do. 
Right, let's have another look at this example then. So it says, shape A has been reflected. Fill in the missing coordinates for shape B. Right, so we've got shape A here. You can see shape A. And this is our line of symmetry, our mirror line. And this is the reflection, so shape B. And we have to give those missing coordinates. So as you can see, point A, which is here, so this point here, that's already been given. So let's just double check that. So we go along our X axis, up our Y axis, three, five. Now that point is correct. And B has also been given four, three. So we go along to four, up to three. Four, three is also correct, but we need to plot the coordinates for C and D. So we would go along our X axis, three, three. So um, point C would be three, three. And then finally, we would do exactly the same for point D. So we would go along two, up our y axis of five. Again, when it comes to questions like this for your independent practice, that's all it's asking you to do. Right, you will also see questions like this. So it says draw a line of symmetry so that the coordinates below show a reflection of shape A. Now, you need to look at the coordinates plot them like we did before, join them together. So you will then get your reflected shape. You'll do that just by following those coordinates. And then you need to remember to show your line of symmetry. So again, if I was going to plot my line of symmetry here, you can see that there are actually two squares between the two shapes. So if you took this line here, look, this one, um, this, this shape A finishes on line, your X axis, line three, whereas shape B begins on five. So your four is in the middle here. So four gives you that true um, equal distance between shape A and shape B. So your line of symmetry would go down the middle there. And again, you will have some questions like this when it comes to doing independent practice. Now, when it comes to the deeper thinking, this is an example of one of the questions. So it says plot these coordinates and join them in order. And what letter have you made? So you're going to be making some letters with the coordinates. So you have to have a look here um, and join them. Now, the easiest way to do it is to plot one, plot a coordinate. So let's take, for example, three one. So if we go along our X axis at the bottom, three up one and mark it and plot it. And then the next one is three, nine. So again, three, nine and plot that. And then I would suggest you join them together afterwards. Right, the next one is three, five. So again, you go along your X axis, three, five and plot it. And then the next one is five, five. So again, go along till you reach number five, up to number five and plot it and join them together. Obviously, you're going to join them much better than me because I'm doing it on PowerPoint, it wouldn't let me. Um, so you need to then reflect what these coordinates here. So what you've done here, you need to reflect that on the other side. So over your X, uh, over your Y axis and see what, le what letter you, you can make. So those that's an example of your deeper thinking question. I'm just going to stop sharing my screen, screen with you. Um, and I'm going to give you, show you an example of, actually, I'm not going to show you an example, am I? I'm showing you the questions for your maths lesson today. So again, um, you've got that guided practice question there. That's the one that I said at the beginning. And then you've got your independent questions here. So object A is reflected in the mirror line to give image B. So you've got A and B. Write the coordinates of the vertices for each shape. And it's been color coordinated to help you. So you put the original coordinates there and the reflected ones there. Exactly like I was showing in the video. Again, two, draw a line of symmetry so that the coordinates below show a reflection of shape A. So here is shape A. You need to plot these coordinates and then you need to draw your line of symmetry so that um, shape B and shape A are showing a true reflection. So that's exactly the same for these for that um, question there. And then um, there's another example here. So they're getting slightly harder 
as you can see, slightly more difficult as, as they progress. I've just realized that I haven't, I've, I've not explained that one clearly. I skipped past that, sorry. It says reflect shape A to create shape B, write the coordinates for both shapes. So here is shape A, you need to plot these coordinates here. So write these coordinates, sorry, down here for shape A. Now you can see you've got all these points, point A, point B, point C, point D, E, F. You're going to, you're going to write those coordinates down there. Then you are going to reflect the shape across this line of symmetry and you're going to call it shape B and then you are going to plot those coordinates in there. And then deeper thinking. Again, if you run out of time um, or you're finding it particularly challenging, please, please don't worry about getting onto the deeper thinking questions. If you would like a challenge and you find that you have some time, then have a go at these deeper thinking questions and see see if you can work through them. So this is an example, plot these coordinates and join them in order. What letter have you drawn? Exactly like the example I was just showing you. So you've got one of those with a letter. This one is saying, what have you drawn? So have you drawn an image? Have you drawn a letter? And then another one here, plot it, plot the coordinates and join them and then have a look at the image that you have drawn. And then there's just two others at the bottom. It says Eva reflects the shape, this shape here, in the mirror line. She thinks that the coordinates of the vertices for the reflected shape are, and then she's given some coordinates. Is Eva correct? And how do you know? So explain why. And then finally, this is a shape after it has been reflected. So this shape here has already been reflected. This would be shape B if you were going to give it a label. This is called the image. So this is B here, the image is B. Use the grid, here's your grid, and the marked mirror lines. So there's the marked mirror lines, one, two. Show where the original object was positioned. And then it says, is there more than one possibility? So it's something for you to think about there. Okay, so these are your questions, not as many as yesterday. Work through them and um, let me know if you've got any questions, but hopefully it will be self-explanatory for you. Okay, I will see you again on the screen tomorrow. All right, bye.